Hi and welcome everyone, I'm Friar Tuck, this is my epoch and what we're going to be talking about today is another installment of the Urban Guide to Homelessness. So if you are living in an urban situation, uh, you catch yourself being homeless for the first time uh, in an urban situation, this survival guide here will help you uh, navigate the necessary things you need to learn and help you kind of understand the learning curve that goes along with um, you know, just becoming newly homeless, especially in an urban uh, environment. And there's a playlist that you guys can watch if you want to know more. But what we're gonna be talking about today is budgeting. Now you may be asking, well, uh, I'm homeless, I have no money. If I had money, I'd pay rent. Well, it doesn't mean you have no money because there are ways to make money uh, when you're homeless. It was actually one of the, it was like one of the first topics that I talked about is how to make money when you're homeless. Now, now that you're making money, how do you budget that money, okay? And you've got to start looking at the world uh, in the sense of day-to-day -day living. How much do I have to make per day to be able to live? Because once you become homeless, uh, you don't have any money coming in. You don't have any money in savings. You don't have, uh, you, you may have less than $10 in your bank account, you know, and you really don't have a, a, a lot of money. So therefore your day-to-day -day survival starts becoming, what does it cost me a day to have my basics, my, my creature comforts that are going to allow me to cope with what I'm coping with so that I can function and, you know, get out of this situation. So let me tell you about my daily budget. So I have my my vices, the things that I like. Some things I can trim out, some things I will never trim out, okay? So uh, number one on my list is it's about $6.35 for a pack of smokes. Now I will go cheaper and uh, I will buy a pouch of tobacco and then just when I have you know more money than, than necessary, sometimes I'll just you know, go buy me a pack of smokes from time to time as a way to be able to treat myself for doing well. But all in all, if I was to have what I wanted versus what I needed, um, you know, having what I wanted, it would be $7 a day or $6 and 35 cents a day. And then you have my, my weed habit. You guys know why I smoke weed. Part of it's recreational, part of it is medicinal. Okay. And so therefore, um, that's another $5 a day and I work really hard to keep it at $5 a day because I could very easily step up to 10 and $20 a day if I really wanted to be just gluttonous about it. But I've learned to stretch what it is that I have because when you're budgeting, you need to learn how to take what it is that you have and to stretch it and to, you know, to, to be meager with what it is that you have and to be able to have a little bit, but not enough to just get yourself fat, happy, and lazy. Because what happens when, you know, I have, uh, you know, a couple hundred dollars in my pocket, well, you know what? My motivation kind of goes away because my daily upkeep is taken, it is taken up for most of a week uh, or a whole week if I really want to push it. Uh, it just depends upon what it is that I do, okay? So now I've got $6.35 plus I have another $5. So that is, we're just gonna round up. So seven plus five is 12. And then I got another $2.50 for a large uh, daily brew at my favorite coffee shop, the Coffee Emporium here in Cincinnati, okay? And, you know, so therefore, now all of a sudden I'm looking at about $15, 14 to $15 per day in upkeep just to be able to have what it is that I need. So that is somewhere around $450 a month that I, I need to be able to cover those creature comforts so that I'm not going out there seeking it. Because the thing is, is when you're homeless and you don't have a lot of money or you don't have uh, the things that you, you want and you, the, the, ability to consume at the levels in which you want to consume, um, you therefore go out there and you just kind of start spinning your wheels. So if you learn to be able to live off of what it is that you like, but to be able to live off of less of it so that it can keep your overall costs low, when you're making 20, 30, 50, $100 in a day, it makes things a little bit different. It makes it so that you have less um, less stress because now you have money to be able to save. Okay, so they have, what is it, a 50, 20, 30 rule as far as, you know, the cost of living and what it is to be able to, you know, be in the middle class. 
Uh, and here in, in Ohio, it's like $80,000, but most of the country it's about $100,000 a year, okay? So when you're thinking about it in homeless terms, you could live, uh, you could live comfortably off of about five to $6,000 per year if you had the same vices and took the same approach that I took. Okay, it just depends upon what it is that you're willing to sacrifice and what it is that you're willing to do. So when you come out here and you have to budget, you have to really think about what it is that's gonna cost me for a day and then use your money making sources uh, to be able to rummage up that so that you, if you have extra, you can sit there and uh, go and explore other ventures, other ideas, because there are some adventure, there are some ventures that you may want to do that may take, you know, a, a week to get traction and then maybe four or five days to set up. So if you have a couple of weeks worth of your daily upkeep uh, set up, so let's say, um, let's say about $200, then all of a sudden you can go and take that venture and go do that venture and see if it works because now you have the ability to do it but again it goes down into what is your daily upkeep and if you are really looking at it looking at it from a house standpoint your uh you okay so it's like if you're paying six hundred dollars a month in rent your daily your daily rent is twenty dollars okay um and then you are paying probably about five dollars a day in electricity another three dollars a day in water uh and then you also have you're, you're probably paying about two dollars and fifty cents a day for your cell phone okay and, and what does that add up to and that's just the basics and we're, we're not even talking about car payment which is probably about well it's it's more than a so let's see a thousand so we're probably talking about thirty five dollars a day just to be able to have your your, your car uh, and that doesn't even count insurance which is probably another you know uh, uh, ten to fifteen dollars a day and then you know look at all this money per day that you got to make just to be able to eke it out and then you know you should look at not only where you can trim the fat but kind of you know just like me if if I really want to make a push, like what I'm doing this month, is I'm making a push. I've I've gotten to a point where um, I have enough money coming in, so therefore I'm able to take care of my daily things that I need to take care of, so that I can focus more on what's going to make me enough money to be able to support myself uh, moving forward, which is my YouTube channel and uh, all the things in which spider out from it. Okay. And so uh, even though I, I need a payout next month and all those different things, <clears throat> I'm not focusing on what I was focusing on last month because I was growing. With this month, what I was able to do is go back and take a lot of my older videos and redo them and revamp them so that I can get more views. So because I'm able to be not only fat and happy, not necessarily fat and happy, but to be able to have my basics taken care of, Okay, so um, I will get a payout next month, I always do, uh, but I may only get like $120 versus the almost $200 that I got this month, okay? So I'm not making as much because I'm, I'm getting about 30% less in, in views. Okay, on top of um, you know what I get from Patreon, what I get from, from the tip jar, what I get from recurring tips and things like that, that is giving me and affording me the ability to um, with everything that's coming in to, you know, because I can keep a meager budget, now I can sit there and focus on building and growing out from what it is that I have so that I can build a stronger foundation. So if you're thinking about, you know, why would I want to start a business while I'm homeless? Well, you know, if you want to do something like that, if that's in your blood, if it's something that you think works for you, uh, then, uh, you know, something like this is going to be something that you're gonna have to become a pro at and learn what it is that you're willing to do without and what it is you're not willing to do without. Okay, I'm not willing to do without cigarettes, so that means if I if I don't have the money at the bare minimum, if I, if I have to, I'll pick up cigarette butts, but you know, I always make sure I spend $2 on a pack of papers or I spend, you know, $10 on a pouch of tobacco 
plus probably about, uh, you know, I buy about uh, three 100 packs of papers and therefore I, I'm covered for about $15 a month. I, I can go and get all this, all, all of the materials I need for smoking. So therefore that is, that reduces my overall cost. So at $15 a month, I'm paying about 50 cents a day. So now that all of a sudden drops my, drops my overall cost. Now I want to be able to have money to, you know, go and do this or go and do that because I'm able to be flexible within my budgeting, this is what allows me to, you know, to take not only the risks that I take, but to be able to move in the directions I, I do and, and to do it without worrying. Cause I mean, it's hard enough being homeless. And you know, if you're used to having cigarettes and you don't have a single cigarette all day because you know, you're focusing on work uh, and instead of focusing on, on making money so that you can have that cigarette, it makes the day much harder, makes everything much, much worse. Okay. So anyways, you guys know how to become, uh, you know, you guys know how to help the channel become a subscriber. Make sure you share this. Come on over to Patreon. Uh, come visit my website and become a subscriber to my newsletter. Uh, and uh, you'll get updates and uh, written articles that I put out with each video. Uh, that way you get to see the, the contrast in my writing and everything else. So anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.